Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the Kane Audio Vlog. Um, today I'm going to be looking at the envelope follower in Bitwig. Um, so I've been putting together just some rough ideas of, well it's not even an idea of a track, it's just sort of playing around with bits and pieces. Um, but this kind of came from, um, I was reading on a forum somewhere um, about somebody wanted to add in or increase the dynamics of a track and someone mentioned um, basically if you imagine being stood in um, in a church for example and you talk quietly there's very little to no reverb whereas if you shout there's a lot more reverb and that sort of increases the perceived dynamics um, and I thought about that and I thought yeah okay you could maybe stick some reverb on an envelope follower and then depending on how loud the sound is uh, the source sound you, you can sort of automatically adjust the reverb so I've literally just done exactly that I'll show you now so here I've got um, my sort of lead sound and if I just take that off for now to show you it raw that's how it's looking so you can see down here the velocity changes um, and, and you can hear that as well so I'll bring this down a bit more as well And then let's bring these up so it's just a bit more extreme. So that'll do. And what I've got here is I've dropped in a reverb device, just standard. Um, and then in here, I, in the modular section, I've dropped in um, an envelope follower. So it just follows the amplitude of the envelope. And I've assigned that to both the reverb time and the mix levels. So if I just play it again with that deactivated first. And then play it with the reverb. For me, that kind of just makes something a bit more interesting I guess um, it's uh, it's kind of one of those things that you can you can do subtly in the background I guess and and, and it just adds a bit more dynamic and a bit more depth to a, a lead sound um, without really having to do much at all um, so yeah so I just thought I'd share that one with you this week um, it's a quick and easy I mean if you're in Bitwig it's quick and easy if you're in another workstation it might be a bit more difficult but um, yeah all it's doing is on the louder notes it's just lifting up the the mix level and the decay time of the reverb um, but it's just something that I thought worked pretty well um, and it adds a lot more uh, depth to the overall track and um, yeah I just thought I'd share that this week so as usual like comment subscribe tell me what you want to see um, I know a couple of people have been asking for arrangement techniques I'm thinking I'll probably do like a whole series on that because there is no sort of hard and fast rule to arranging a track so I'm not even sure how I'm going to do that on video um, but I might treat it the same as I did with the mix down and just you know when I start writing a track and I start layering bits in and start going right okay now's the time to arrange I might just grab the camera and hit record and see what happens um, so that might take a while but um, other than that I hope you have a good weekend I'll see you next week cheers <laughs>